I'm about to come face to face with a species that's not just critically endangered here, but also all around the world. Oh, look at this. This is the Sunda pangolin. It's one of the three critically endangered species of pangolins in the world. It's very typical of pangolins to come out of their natural habitat to just explore. You're going to give him a sedative. Pangolins are sent to the zoo whenever they're rescued. This one was found curled up and stranded on a road divider and sent here to be examined. Pangolins are the only mammals in the world with these protective scales. And this feature has made them the most trafficked mammal in the world. More than a million of them have been poached and killed for their scales in the last decade. People actually believe that those scales give people strength. They're actually just made out of keratin, which is the same thing that you have with your fingernails. So people might as well just eat their fingernails. Now that it's fully sedated, the team needs to work fast. Two hours and longer, yeah, then you'll start seeing blood pressure is dropping. Mm -hmm. And within seconds, Dr. Abraham spots the first sign of trouble, a laceration on its tail. Most probably the animal got himself caught in some netting somewhere. The team needs to run more tests to determine the full extent of its injury. So they've just taken it into a separate room and they've laid it on the table. I think they're going to do some scans on it now. That wound on the tail, that bone is slightly affected. Yeah. And to also make sure that uh, the internal structures are OK. The mood in here is quite serious. I guess there's a lot at stake when you're dealing with an animal that is really endangered. So we're just going to clean that wound. Besides these wounds, he's actually in very good condition. So you're generally quite happy with what you're oh. seeing now. I guess everyone in here is quite relieved that it's healthy enough to be rehabilitated into the wild. The final procedure, a microchip implant with a unique identification code. It's part of regional efforts to collect data on this elusive creature. 